Sunday's elections in Spain's Catalonia region gave separatists a boost in the regional parliament, leading them to renew their calls for an independence referendum. Three pro-independence parties secured over half of the vote for the first time by winning 74 seats. The Socialist Party of Prime Minister Pedro Sánchez won most votes, but it will probably need support from the separatists to form a coalition. That could be decided by Oriol Junqueras, leader of the Republican left of Catalonia. He is currently serving a 13-year prison sentence for his part in the 2017 breakaway attempt. The far-right Vox party also managed to enter regional parliament for the first time. Now, Spain's foreign minister, Arancha González Laya, joined us earlier to discuss the results. She says they won't change the government's position on Catalonia's independence. The Spanish government stance is pretty clear. It's uh, turning the page, uh, going uh, for a dialogue, uh, not uh, engaging into unilateralism, uh, and uh, reuniting all Catalans around one project. This is what the Spanish um, uh, government uh, uh, wants to see in Catalonia. This is what uh, the socialist candidate stood for in this election unity of all Catalans, dialogue as a means to address uh, differences that exist in the Catalonian society and refusal to engage in unilateralism. And anyone who shares this uh, for the advancement of Catalonia, I'm sure that uh, will find uh, a lot of uh, common ground with uh, the socialist candidate who won the election. What uh, uh, the Spanish government has been saying is that it understands that there are different sentiments uh, within the Catalan people, uh, but the reality is that in Catalonia the society is divided uh, and uh, there is no uh, unilateral recipe that would resolve uh, the dis differences that divide Catalans. The only way forward is to dialogue, uh, to find uh, avenues for addressing the differences that exist, but doing this within the rules that are the rules of the game in Spain, the Constitution, uh, that is what binds all Spaniards and the Constitution that is the best guarantee for the democracy uh, in Spain. Now, for more analysis on those elections in Catalonia, I'm joined by Tony Rodon, who is a political scientist at the Pompeo Fabra University. Tony, th thank you so much for joining us here on Your News tonight. Uh, so, big boost for the parties that are sort of pro-independence, but the Spanish government says that they're not willing to change their position. Uh, does this make Catalonia any sort of, does it put the, the region any closer to independence? Uh, no, 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 not at all. I don't think we will see independence any any time soon. But but it, it, it's interesting because uh, Sunday's election results kind of open a new avenue for the pro-independence parties and also for for Catalonia. And it's interesting to mention it because uh, it was not clear before the elections that pro-independence parties uh, were, were were able to obtain an electoral majority in the in the chamber. Actually, if we look at the pre-election polls, some of them basically were telling us that pro-independence parties were in, on the bring of not winning this majority. Uh, the thing is that they won this majority. Now they have a big majority in the electoral chamber. Not only that, but they have more than 50% of the votes, which is what they were campaigning for before the election. And also what some pro-union parties told pro-independence parties to achieve before trying to like uh, make any step on the pro-independence issue. So yeah, so election results this Sunday basically open a new uh, sort of process uh, that we will see what it ends up to. So what do you think about a coalition between Pedro Sánchez, uh, Partido Socialista, and, and these pro-independence parties? Is that even possible, that kind of coalition? Well, at this stage, any coalition is possible, but I don't see this coalition uh, uh, likely to, to happen in the, in the near future. Um, as I said, pro-independence parties now have the majority in the Catalan chamber. Most likely what we will see, and we will know about it very soon in the next few days or few weeks, we will see a repetition of the coalition government that we've had on the last uh, two, two, three years. So an agreement between the Republican left and, and Junts per Catalunya, together for yes. 
Fidesz, the other centre-right party, with the support of the anti-capitalist in the, in the Catalan chamber. Um, it is difficult to see a coalition between the pro-independence parties and the socialists for many reasons. Uh, you were actually mentioning one on the news before. Basically, Uriol Junqueras is, uh, is in jail. Uriol Junqueras is the leader of the Republican left, uh, the party that won the elections in Catalonia. And one of the reasons they believe for why he is in jail is because the socialists actually took steps uh, that were not very positive uh, uh, to solve the, the Catalan situation. So, to put it simply, there is still a lot of tension between the socialists and the Republican de left, or all the pro-independence parties. So, it will be very costly uh, to reach an agreement between them because tensions uh, run high.